Hi, it's Julia. Um, today I will be talking about some spider stories, so some encounters I've had with spiders and cool things that um that aren't very cool that has happened with spiders. So if you don't like spiders, then this probably is not the video for you. I hope you didn't hear that. Um, make sure to subscribe because only about fifty percent of you guys have subscribed, and that would be really cool if you subscribed because subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch at JuliaDok, and have a really nice day. Enjoy the video. Okay, my right click is not working half the time, which is really amazing. Bro, I don't even think it's me. It might be Hypixel. I- yep. Well, I'll just get into some basic things that have happened with spiders. So, I mean, I, like a lot of people um, in the world, don't really like spiders because they're icky and, um, I don't like bugs. So, if you like spiders, I am- that's cool. I don't really have problems with tarantulas, though. The last time I saw a tarantula, I was, like, six years old, and it was because some, like- Oh my gosh, I'm bad. And it was because some, like, zoologist guy came to my school and was, like, showing us animals. But- I do have a problem with spiders because they're not cute. They're dumb and when you have a bunk bed and you sleep right next to the ceiling, they like to come up above you while you're sleeping. And that's really scary to wake up to a spider like above you and then what do you do? Just what do you do? Oh wow. I don't think I'm gonna get them here, which is really sad, but I'll get them in a second. Okay, nice. Um, so, just to start off with some just basic things that have happened. Um, you know, this these are, like, more recent things, too, which is, like, so scary. And sometimes I just feel like I'm, like, hallucinating or something because it's, like, this happens so often that I'm just, like, I don't understand why. So, like, most people in my house, we have, like, a shoe pile. You know, you put all your shoes there. And, um, it's, like, I, I go to grab my shoes and then there's just a spider just chilling on my shoe while I, like, pick it up and then... I just drop the shoe and run away and decide I don't need to actually go out today. Um, usually I just grab my other pair of shoes, but like that's why. Why? I also have like a shoehorn, which is like something that helps you put on shoes. Oh, so it like wraps around in like kind of a little theme jig shape. And in this way, there's like a little like kind of concaved area so you can't see, you know, what's there. And there was a spider chilling in there that walked across my hand and onto the ground and i i don't i don't understand how people can like like spiders like just crawling on your hands like i don't understand anyone that can do that um bro i okay oh they were final bro oh my gosh I'm in such a bad position right here. These gapples are really cute. They're just like bug round. Yeah, cute. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about the the worst I think spider experience ever. Even though like the spider wasn't exactly alive, because I don't know what happened to it, but it was kind of weird and funky, and I didn't like it. So there's a spider that um. So we were like cleaning our room one day, and we were moving things around and. You know, when you move things around, sometimes you find things you were not expecting or wanted to see. And one of these things included a ginormous spider. Like, I mean, where I live, um, there are big spiders, but not very many. You don't see them very often because it's cold. So, like, this spider went down in the history books as the invincible spider because of its- the- the way it- it just- I can't- I- it just didn't die. It just didn't die. So, I mean, it's pretty much invincible if you just can't die. Um, but so we were just cleaning our room and um, we picked up something and... Oh. Hello? Okay, so we found the spider underneath some kind of like fabric or something. And then it got really scared and stopped cleaning our room for a really long time because, I mean... It makes sense. Like, I- I- that spider was really big and it was really scary. Is there a bridge to mid anywhere? So we saw it and then we told our brother about it and, um, he- oh, I found them. He has, like, metal shoes that are, like, Doc Martens, so they're- they're nice shoes. They're nice, fun shoes. And- oh, hello? I don't even know what happened to them. 
He has nice fun shoes, and so we asked him if he could come over and kill the spider because we didn't know if it was exactly dead, nor were we gonna check because why would you check? I don't, like, no. Like, we weren't gonna check if the spider was dead. So we were just leaving our room for a while, and he, I think he got a flip-flop and, like, stepped on it first, but I really don't think he did because that means that he would have to, like, touch the spider with, like, more of a hand, like, more of his foot than he would with other shoes. He ended up stepping on it with his metal shoes, and then, um... Okay, this really isn't working out for me. Let's just bow him down. So he stepped on them with his metal shoes, and, and then he, uh... Did we get him? Okay, nice. Uh, so, end of story, he killed the spider, and then we had to pick it up somehow. I don't even remember how we picked it up, but I'm- maybe we got, like, a garbage bag or something? Because, I mean, this is, like, a big spider. Like, I've never seen, like, a spider that wasn't, like, like, a zoo or something that was this big. I- I can't describe it to you, but yeah, it was a big spider, and I didn't know what kind of spider it was either. I believe it was a grass spider. It was really scary and really big, and I don't know when or why it got in my house. Uh, spiders just like the heat. And so, like, when it's, like, warm in your house, they come in. And they also like bugs, and bugs are attracted to light, and so the spiders go towards the light to get the bugs. Um, why? I hate my life. That was dumb. Bro, how did I not get a hit on them? Tell me, Hypixel. Okay. So my bed is gone, which is really not very nice. Another spider experience, uh, is this time where my sister- it wasn't me, it was her, but- where she, uh, bro, okay, where she had a spider, like, okay, she was just drinking her tea at the table, and it's like an island table. She had tea in her hand, and a spider came crawling across her hand, and then she, like any normal child would do, she screamed. She screamed and swiped her hand away really fast and ended up hitting her tea and spilling it all over everywhere. Which honestly, I do not blame her. I mean, like, that's scary. It was like a- it was one of those ones that like has very long legs but can't bite you because, you know, I'm gonna die here, maybe. Okay, I guess not. I guess I'm just too cracked at the team. Um, now obviously that one wasn't really involving me, but I was there and- I remember her chair like also flipping back because it's like on like a high part of the uh the kitchen um i've had some good spider experiences though one time uh there's like it's like not good necessarily but it wasn't bad so there's a spider that is that person still over there or are they over here okay i honestly just want time this is this is all i ask for is just time Nah, we're not coming over here. Oh my god, I couldn't- Whoa, my fireballs both missed. Okay, we got him, but I'm super low now. Please, please, please. <laughs> but there is this, like, big spider. This is bigger than the one that, um, actually, like, died. This is out of our house, but it, like, sat in front of our window, so we never opened our window that summer, but- Like, that particular window, but that was okay, because it was cool, and we named it, like, Jerry or something. I don't remember what its name was. It was pretty friendly. It just sat there. I'm pretty sure it killed things that went in front of our window. You know, it was- it was a chill spider. I- I appreciated it, because it didn't ever really mess with us that- that hard, you know? It kind of just chilled and vibed. Chilled and vibed, you know? Oh my god, I'm so low and I don't have any gapples. Guys, I might die here, but we actually have fought. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about was that- So, I feel like a lot of people's dogs have done this. But, um, my dog, he eat- he's eaten a lot. But one of the things that he- he ate was, like, two spiders. Because they were, like, crawling around the ground. And now that sounds really disgusting, but he's also a dog. So, I mean, like, what can you really expect from a dog? That was interesting. I remember the time. It was like, they were in like the bathroom or something, because I feel like a lot of spiders tend to go towards the bathroom. Oh my god, just have a heart on it. That's so cute. Tend to go to like the bathroom, and he just, he just ate the spiders off of the ground. And I was like, okay, dog. You know, that's just, that was my reaction. Was I, how are you supposed to react when you're like, this dog just eats spiders off of the ground, you know? <laughs>
Oh, they potted too. Oh, that's so cringy. Well, I hope you kind of enjoyed me talking about some random topic. I don't know. I just... I don't... I don't know why I didn't see them there. Let's go! Um, I also changed my thing to this. Uh, I don't know why they're mad. I mean, I had diamond armor, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a really nice day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.